that's where I started seeing like 30K months. And I was like, oh man, that's crazy. Like, and then they had the higher tier one, which was seven figure CEO. And you got all these people talking about like making 200 racks uh, every month. And I'm like, man, like if they're making that, <laughs> I want to do that too. We can't limit the amount of money or the time we can get money. Like mm -hmm. I tell all my clients, like, what's the quickest way to the back? Like if they ask me a really complicated conversation yeah. and they're like, I could do this, I could do that. But then they give me something that's really simple. I'm like, that sounds like that's the quickest way to the bag right, right now. Why don't you go for that? But I think especially folks of color, we have been taught we have to work hard for money. Right. And, you know, grandmothers and mothers yeah. telling you that. So yeah. when you get an opportunity to make something easy, Sometimes it could just be a little scary. And I know for yeah. me, like, it's just like, wow, sometimes I look at the money and I'm like, I'm so thankful, but also like the scarcity will take over. And I'm like, I'm yeah. really nervous that I'm just going to lose all of this. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, there's been a point where I saw so much money in the bank account. I was just like, I'm a splurge. <laughs> Ball out. <laughs> right? It's you know, I'd be like, oh my gosh, you got all this money. Like, what do I do now? But that's where like the mindset and control really comes in, right? Um, I remember, like, you know, when I was saving up all this money, I had goals for that money, which, you know, these goals, uh, a little quick backstory, I had my office, my and my kids, we drew out this, um, like, kind of like a meter. And the meter was like, it had like uh, 5K, 10K, 15K, all the way up to like 50K, right? And that meter, uh, they helped me draw out. We would always kind of like, you know, color in the meter until it goes all the way up. And that meter was like a goal for me to put a down payment for a house, which I got a house in two years here in Austin, Texas. So that was really cool. Right. So, uh, yeah, we could ball out doing all this online money stuff, but making sure you put that money in places where it can actually make more money. That's kind of like the trick. You know, there's other people that are out there that will make the money and just splurge and, you know, they have nothing for to show for it. But, you know, people like you and I, we we invest in things to actually help our money grow. So that's kind of a little, little thing that I'd like to share. It was a really, really cool thing. Yeah, you were able to get that down payment for that home. And, you know, it's so powerful when you invest the money. It's it's right now, it's interesting time in the economy, right? Because we got a recession that they're not really calling a recession. Right. We've got um, the crash of the NFT dummies. That's what I'm calling it, at least, right? Because there's a <laughs> yeah. lot of people who spent money on NFTs and things that just didn't really make sense. Not saying that some people didn't make money, right. but a lot of people are losing money. So I was actually um, looking online recently, and our, our old coach, Michael Chu, had posted that it's all this wild stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And it was like literally like a weight set, a teddy bear, and a helicopter next to it. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Someone's selling the helicopter yeah. on Facebook Marketplace. And people are doing that because they over leverage things that they really didn't need. Oh my goodness. Right? So you're going to see Ferraris. You're going to see all these things pop up. So it is a good time if you're a buyer. You right. got a little extra cash. You can get some really cool stuff now. So let's pivot a little bit and talk about something that happened to both of us, right? Yeah, let's do it. We were in a coaching program together, seven-figure CEO, amazing opportunity, and our coach sold the program. Yeah. And I remember, number one, I didn't even know you could do that. I, I, it was a moment where I was like, you can sell this thing and make, like, That's that was pretty a, wild, right? It was man. a whole nother thing. But as a client, I had a lot of emotions. And I'm just wondering, you know, you and I, we've kind of talked about it online, but never talked about it in person. Yeah. One, like, what drew you to Seven Figure CEO? And then two, how did you feel when we got that message that, you know, it was going to be sold and it would be totally different leadership? Yeah. Uh, what drew me to it was because Andrew Cruzy, uh, he was one of the mentors that actually uh, I started in digital marketing and that's where he started. And then I started seeing his post about, you know, his coaching and teaching people to do things. And I started uh, in one of his other programs, which is like his lower tier which is a um, uh, group growth monetiz monetization program, a GGMB. And basically it was helping like uh, people uh, grow their Facebook group and then make monetizing that. I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. So I took that course and then I went into um, uh, the next level one. I think that's where you and I were in, uh, Authority Accelerator, whatnot. And then that's where I started seeing like 30K months. And I was like, oh man, that's crazy. Like, and then they had the higher tier one, which was seven figure CEO. And you got all these people talking about like making 200 racks uh, every month. And I'm like, man, like if they're making that, <laughs> I want to do that too. 
because I felt like the growth from, you know, the tier one, tier two, and now tier three, it's like, all right, cool. Like, this is it. Like, this is my calling to be a coach. This is, you know, like, it make an impact for my, my community and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, you know, new leadership came, right? So what drew me to it was actual, you know, success through other programs that I were I was in. But Seven Figure CEO, as it was sold, like, not even in the middle, huh? Mm-hmm. It was like sold like maybe three months in that yeah. we were in. 